So this is the next property that um, we videoed with Fernando. Um, it's 90,000 euros. It's had most of the structural work done, um, but it's a blank canvas. And it, again, it's another one that fronts onto a river. It's in a very quiet little village near to Pedregoa Grande. Um, and uh, I thought this was beautiful. Lots of potential, um, beautiful stonework, and all the real sort of um, headache part of construction had been taken out of it. There's obviously still a lot to do. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy this. Um, if you could hit the like button, if you could comment, subscribe if you haven't, Subscribe to my other channel, Tool Porn and Kismet Construction, because um, that's really. We're, we're starting. <laughs> She's so cheeky, isn't she? Fucking cheeky. You just swore. I just swore. I don't, I'm leaving that in. Um, and this week on Tool Porn and Kismet Construction. Shh, Betsy. Shush. Betsy! Shush! We're starting an attic conversion. So you'll see the whole process of um, how we, how you do that. Now that's how you do that. An attic conversion in Cornwall. Um, I just walked straight into a big job, um, which I'm, I, we could do with the money. So uh, I'm going to take it and, um, and you can watch me do it. How exciting. What, what joy. You, will you be watching Sarah? I'm not going to make any promises. I'm quite dizzy. Okay, so anyway, enjoy this vlog and um, enjoy the property. Fernando's details will be down below. A link to the description of the property will be down below in his website. Uh, contact him direct if you're interested in this property or any other properties. He's a very lovely man. He speaks English and Portuguese. Uh, and uh, we'll see you very soon with something different. Ciao! So we're going to have a look at another property that's just down here. I thought I'd park up here a bit and then you could kind of get a view of uh, the local area. Wow. This is quiet. I hear water. I wonder whether that's a river beach down there. There's a large part that looks dammed. Anyway, the property is just down here, so let's go and have a look. There's my man Fernando. Okay, I'm going to stop filming now because there's neighbours. Oh, my God! Oh, Presepio. Presepio. See. Sí. Can you go through that again? Sorry. Yeah. Where is the trees? Uh, the, this tree, the big tree. Yes. The sort of yellowy one. The one on the right. Okay. Yes. Them. It's the straight line here to here. Where is this full tree? Yeah. So it's across here. Yeah. And on this side, all of this here and this terrace. Is These terraces up here. Okay. So how much land in total? Do you remember? Three thousand and something. Let me see the right number. That's beautiful stone. The building was fully renovated on structurally. Yes. Now can finish inside uh -huh. as they want. So in a, in a way this is a good thing because you have a, a blank canvas. Yeah. 
3,080 square meters. 3,080 square meters of land. And the total building area of the building is 223. Okay. Square meters, of course. Uh huh. Yes. Wow. Uh, where should we start? What do you think? This way? Okay. Miles more like steel framing roof. Yeah. There's an old oven there. Maybe for the Ah, that's what the uh, outside bit piece is here. So there's uh, uh, an oven here this part that sticks out and then inside the original bread oven is there right hang on a minute there we go that's better it's maybe good to install a, a kitchen living room also maybe bedrooms if any Hang on, I'm just going to go window to window. So there's the river. Oh, and then you have this large open plan area. Have a look on this. Oh. <laughs> Hairs on the back of your neck stuff, <laughs> isn't it? Goosebumps. <laughs> That's absolutely stunning. Do you know how deep it is over here? Could you swim in that, do you think? Not no. deep enough. Okay. But down there. Oh, in this in this yeah, part here. It's a bit more deep. Okay. Up, it's good, maybe. I don't know if you have a canoe or a kayak to or to play. Well. Mhm. Mm uh, yes. Yes. A bit more deep is down there. And is this any of this land with the property? No. No. The, the land is on that stone over there. Yeah. This one? Yeah. yeah. The land to the left. Yeah. And these top terrace here. And this, the this strip along here. That strip with the two olive trees not belongs. Okay. But I think it's possible to survive. Okay, yes. There's a little basement under there yes the hexes is just by the outside okay my opinion is perfect to have a storage room or a workshop or wine cellar room something like that mm -hmm. here maybe kitchen lounge living area yeah or on this side and put the bedroom here yeah. ah okay another head in here Or bedrooms area or, or also kitchen. Is this the um the adega that you just mentioned? Was was originally was an adega. That point is to put a, a staircase. Yes, yeah, yeah. Then to put downstairs uh, well bedroom, uh, living room or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a nice panoramic window. Yes.
Okay. Are we going this way? Yeah. This is private. From there to here. It's also possible to access here with a small car. It's mm -hmm. a narrow and steep road, but the small yep. car can come here. Yep. And even maybe possible to park, park there. here or connect with the other side mm -hmm. for small vehicles. Let us see if it's connected. Mainly the electricity, yeah. yeah. In times was uh, an access through here. Okay, the yeah. Renovation work was not on the same level and they mm -hmm. changed this. Anyway, okay, no. so there was some steps coming up here. And they've obviously infilled this bit with um, the schist. Wow. 1875. 1875. So it's sort of very traditional, the um, building um, work that's been done externally. Yeah. You know, they've kind of they've used um, they they wo oak lintels, yeah. um, sort of schist style stonework on the outside. This is the original one. It's here since 1875. Yes. So this piece of land here to to here and then along here. So this would this would make a great patio. And then this is the old Adega. Um, it's possible to convert yep, into another bedroom. There's a room also to this side. Let's do it to be here uh, some, but anyway, for storage at least be maybe helpful. Yeah, and um, block and beam floors. Yeah. Okay. Room in the good room also. Yeah, this is a big room here, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, master bedroom with uh, toilet and suite. Like yeah, that. yeah. Um, as I, as I was up in this room up here. It's uh, it's a really long room which you could yeah. turn into multiple bedrooms, yeah. but it'd be nice to yeah. to have enough money to just have one bedroom. Yeah. If you had no kids yeah. and but anyway, easy you put one bedroom here, two bedrooms, two bedrooms here. up there, one bedroom it's there. Yes, yeah, so three bedrooms potentially. Three good bedrooms. Yeah, yeah, with two ensuite bathrooms. Yeah. And just I'll just go to the end. Mm -hmm. There's another room under here. Oh, we, we can access that from around there. Okay, okay. It's the one that I told you that there's just access by the outside. Ah, okay. Should we, um, should we go round? Yeah. I think it's probably best. That stonework's really lovely. He's done this stonework, hasn't he, the builder? Yeah. Some, some are, uh, are, uh, the stones that are yes, yeah, dark. I see. Yeah, these are the original, but the, this original. this part yeah, that he's was, he's redone. Was, was redone yes. Wow, he's good, isn't he? Yeah. I know my stonework, and that's good. Wow. So here we have a canal, a leap. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> wow, and that's being directed down this way. Now he's going back to the river. Yeah. Nobody is using the house. That's okay, so this is to irrigate this. Yeah. They open these and it and irrigates all these fields. Yeah. Wow. This house is beautiful. It's another beauty, isn't it? This kind of bridge, maybe you would. Something that's possible to do on the other property. Okay, yes. On the um, the other property on one of our previous vlogs, um, the really beautiful house. Well, this is the kind of bridge that you could possibly do across to access from the other side. 
go back and, and have a look through some of my previous videos. Wow, our waterfall's amazing. And this dam and the stonework. Here's, a, here's another irrigation leak on this side. So here's the property here, and then just down below we have this um, remarkable sort of plunge pool dammed area which would just be heavenly in the summertime. Amazing. Oh, sorry, I thought you could give me a hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. This, land is part of the this, this land is part of the property. Yep. This is the other basement, the one that have just hacked us by the outside. Okay. So again, that could be a self-contained unit. Is it big enough? Yeah, it's not too, not too big, but yeah, it can be a nice storage room or workshop or... Room. It's necessary to dig there. Yeah, it needs to be dug out. So this would have just been with the old house, the roof, the old roof. Yeah. And the old structure that falls down. Mm -hmm. And still here you see the old beams and stones and so on. Yeah. It's necessary to pick this out. Okay. But yeah, and here. <clears throat> and then obviously this this land here all belong. All belong to ah to the trees over there the yes yeah yeah and then across across yeah. here and then, and then up and then there's some terraces up More here terraces there. <clears throat> uh, okay, so they're the windows in what would be the front room. The first room that yes. we have seen yeah, yeah. the old home. It's quiet. Very quiet. This area here for parking, it's perfect. And then how do you access the terraces? Okay, up here. Ah. Yep, so along here, not the part where the cabbages are, not that. Okay, so from here, along here, around here. That's not 
cleaned yet. This part with the station oh, so belongs. This part here as well? Yeah. Imagine that uh, stone wall. Yeah. Straight. Going along there, yeah. And so these field the roads all belongs. Okay. Are there any um any fruit trees or olive trees? There's a couple of olive trees, some young ones. Yep. And yeah, but the most it's uh, oak trees and some natural trees here. It would be um it'd be a good spot for um for fruit trees. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Silvers. Silvers. They're um. They grow well here. <laughs> the humidity in the air. Yeah, lots of sun and then lots of water and uh, and they're away. Okay. And this one is ninety thousand. Ninety five. 95,000 euros. Yes. Um, yeah. Nice spot. What's this um, This road up here? Where does that lead? It's uh, a road that's small village that houses on the other side is a small village. That's the internal road that gives access to another small village on the, on the hill. Hello, on the Papa. Side. Hello, Papa. <laughs> you got friends. <laughs> oh, you're a good dog dog. Right, so this is the um, the access road to the Schist property, um, which I think is important to um, to see. Ah, is this part of the land as well? It's here, yes. Okay. So that was also part of the land, but um, this is the top wall. Ah, this top wall up here. This top terrace also belongs. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um, if you get in contact with um, Fernando, then he will give you um, exact topographical surveys and, and maps of um, any of the properties that he has for sale. Uh, so, uh, so there's no confusion about um, borders and lands and uh, things like that. So. Cute car. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> They've escaped, haven't they? <laughs> They've escaped, haven't they? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the one. Oh, there's the dog after them now. <laughs> and there's the farm's wife up there. So you've seen the property. Um, things. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful place, a bit windy. So uh, my observations of this property are as follows. The um, the wind just always starts blowing whenever I start talking. <laughs> Maybe if I squat down low. So um, the Adega. The um, rooms on the ground floor underneath, uh, there's a lot of detritus and earth and rocks. Um, and to clear them, to make the two bedrooms down on um, the ground floor underneath in the Adega, um, 
there's quite a lot of work there to clear those two rooms and then the um, the next room along um, which is described as a sort of workshop or art studio uh, again there's a lot of um, a lot of earth and stuff that needs to be cleared from there there's there's still there's, sorry I, I had my um, booster jab two days ago and it kind of it made me feel all a bit warm and fuzzy but not in a good way <laughs> um, but don't don't let that put you off go and have your booster get booster done or whatever the three words slogan is this week um, just get your booster and ignore that tosser um, so so yeah um, there's a lot of work that needs to be done in the adegas um, the access road was a little bit, uh, it wasn't as bad as last week's property, but the access road, there was um, work to be done there, but it was very short, the access road. Uh, you're quite close to other properties. Um, it's good if you want to be part of a community, but if you don't like neighbours, then maybe this isn't for you. Uh, The land was a bit overgrown, but that's to be expected because it's been empty for many years. Um, things that I really loved about this place, uh, the stonework, whoever did the stonework, absolutely stunning, beautiful, um, sort of, it looked like a uh, historical schist. It looked like, um, it looked like it should. He knew what he was doing. Where are my dogs? Oh no, you can't see them because the camera's pointed at me. My dogs are over there. But they're not being a nuisance at the moment because they are a nuisance. Um, yeah, the stonework was just absolutely stunning. The um, the large uh, sort of double, double windows, you could have big bifold doors in the first floor, living accommodation that overlooked the waterfall, just breathtaking. And then exactly the same in what would be the two top bedrooms with the um, the large windows overlooking that waterfall. Um, just absolutely stunning. The village was very beautiful. It was really, you know, it's obviously a well-loved village, well-populated. Um, met some lovely people there. Um, I met a lovely English lady there. I met a lovely um, Portuguese gentleman there. So all the nations covered. Um, and yeah, it just, um, all the, the, the vegetable, sort of, all the gardens around it were really well maintained. <coughs> um, so they were obviously, um, you know, they love where they live. Um, so, and obviously there's some work to do on the place, but, um, you can sort of stamp your own mark on it, um, have it how you want it design it how you want it internally so again that's a positive really uh, and all the main structural stuff the roof all the stonework all the concrete floors the stairs got to go in that's a bit of work but apart from that all the big stuff's been done so all the sort of main headaches have been taken care of anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video um I, hope, I wish all my viewers, I don't think that there'll be another vlog before Christmas, so uh, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a very prosperous New Year, and um, I hope you all stay safe in, um, in these torrid times. They're torrid again, aren't they? So I hope you're all safe, and uh, you keep, keep your family safe, and keep your loved ones near, and have a lovely time, whatever you choose to do. All right, guys, lots of love. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.